Hi there, it's Kathleen from Morgan's Fancies, and I'm uh, coming at you with a haul today. And um, I just, I haven't done one in a long, so such a long time. Um, my husband got me some stuff off of Blitzy, and it finally came um, for Christmas, and it finally came in today. And I'm so excited I had to make a video. <laughs> I just, I had to. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to jump right in. Okay, I've got a couple of calligraphy inks from Speedball. One in, um, where's the color? Burnt Umber. And one in Emerald Green. So I thought that would be fun to play with because I do have uh, calligraphy nibs and <clears throat> whatnot. So I want to play with that. I'm excited to play with everything, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> let's put that outside here. I got two packs of this Dusty Lane um, paper accents there, um, by paper accents, excuse me. <laughs> They're smooth cardstock in colors I did not have, so I was so excited to get that. Um, for my jelly plate, which I did, I, I didn't film the video, but I did get myself a bigger jelly plate. Um, I got one of the um, catalysts, I don't know what you call it, palette, brush, whatever, but I wanted to be able to, um, you know, do my own designs and, and, um, signatures and whatnot on, on the jelly plates. So I grabbed this up when I saw it was only three dollars, three something. So, uh, it's way more expensive up here in Canada. And I almost bought the same one forgetting that's the one that I bought. And I didn't, so thank goodness. Okay. Um, the only Tim Holtz thing I got was one of the distress markers, the, the white one, because I killed my other one. <laughs> I still don't have all of them either. Um, and this came this way. I'm going to have to uh, just put a, a dab of glue down so <coughs> they can go back in their spots. But I got some pearlescent paints. They were only like $3 or $3.99, something like that. So I'm excited to play with those. <clears throat> now, I've already taken the package off of this. Packaging, I mean. And um, it's the Ducrafts Artiste Dual Tip Watercolor Brush Markers. They're the um, fine ones. Came in its own container, but look at this. 36 colors. I am so excited. I haven't um, made videos in a while, but uh, lately I've been drawing a lot. So, um, drawing and coloring. So, um, I'll make a video with some of the pieces that I've done so far <clears throat> this year. And I've been pretty busy. So, inspiration. Thank goodness. Last year was such a dry year. This year, I seem to be bursting with creativity. So, I'm, I'm really happy about this. So, I'm really excited to play with these. Pardon me while I take a drink. The other reason, excuse me, the other reason why I haven't been making videos is because I've been really sick for the last couple of months. So, and um, it's just been like stuff that I caught from work because I work in a retirement home. Um, but uh, now that that's done and over with, I'm at the very last, you probably still hear it in my voice. For your last of things, so um, pardon me if I have to occasionally take a drink to, <clears throat> so I'm not coughing my head off and boring you to death. I got um, a package of sentiment stamps. They're vintage affections from LDRS, and uh, the the actual set I got was Enchanted Wishes, which is so up my alley. It's not funny. It's um, like dare to dream, believe, I believe in fairies, which is a big thing with me. If you know, been watching my channel at all, you know that I'm fascinated and, and uh, obsessed with fairies. <clears throat> I am so excited. I have never gotten my hands on any kind of Lindy Stamp Gang stuff. And um, one of them, I did order something else, but um, they couldn't get it in. So they um, credited my account kind of pouting because it was a beautiful teal color, but oh well. I got some in white embossing powder because I'm out. 
So that's good. And I'll try and see if I like their brand. I've got um, a Starburst in Open Arms Amethyst. So this looks really pretty. All right. Open Arms Amethyst. And I've got one, um, a set of their Magicals. Uh, in Victorian bouquet, which I'm really excited about this color here. I love the duochromes of these. I'm so excited to play with these. I love like perfect pearls and prolex and this is just another version to me of it or in the elements. And I <laughs> kind of went overboard. <laughs> I have four different sets because they were really reasonably priced of the gorgeous girl stamps. So the sets I got were, um, let's see what it says on the back. And these are by Do Crafts too. <gasps> Ooh, cool. I didn't realize that. Um, just looking for the name. Is it on here maybe? <clears throat> Just trying to find your name, girly. The Collector. Okay, so I think. Yeah, this one's The Collector. Isn't she pretty? And this one is the runaway. I'm so excited for that horse. <laughs> okay. um, little Red. Obviously Little Red Riding Hood. And the last one I got was the Black Star. Which I'm really liking. The, like two of these have the um, frame. I'm going to have to make a cut file for that too. For my cameo. Oh, I'm so excited. Anyways, that was my haul. Short and sweet, but um, I've been not making hauls for a long time now and I should. I have gotten a lot of other stuff lately, but I haven't been well enough to film anything. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me and um, joining in on my excitement. And I plan on making more videos soon, so um, stay tuned. Thank you. Um, rate, subscribe, comment. I appreciate any input at all. Thanks. Bye.